Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Wright is here, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for joining me in my latest video. This is of a patient who attended with sticky earwax that's impacted right up against the eardrum. Um, this was caused by the patient trying to remove the wax themselves with a Q-tip, uh, what we call in the UK a cotton bud. And unfortunately, and as is quite often the case, when using a Q-tip or a cotton bud, it's just pushed the wax further and deeper into the ear and it's lodged right up against the eardrum. Um, as we approach the eardrum, the ear canal narrows. You may be able to visualize that. And then it's about half a centimetre away from the eardrum where it narrows. And then after the narrowing, the ear canal widens again. And that creates a, an alcove to the left-hand side of the ear canal. So there's a little hidden um, cave, if you like, there. And also uh, a basin, a trench at the base of the ear canal, so at the bottom of the ear canal near the eardrum. You'll see in a moment, when I remove this wax plug, it's a lot, lot larger than what it appears visually at the moment, and that's because a lot of the wax is hidden away in both the trench and the alcove. It's a sticky type of wax, so this type of wax can be a bit tricky to remove because if you go in too much with the sucker, it embeds within the soft wax and it blocks the tube, so you don't get a suction grip. So you have to somewhat hover over the wax plug. And you can see I've released it from um, the narrowing of the ear canal. And I've just lost the suction grip here. So I'm just going to, again, hover over and we're going to remove this. The ear canal is completely clear now. We can see the eardrum. There's just some residual soft sticky wax that's just remained within the ear as I was removing it. So I'm just going to hover over this. We do have to be careful. It's like a game of operation, actually. We're just going to make sure... We don't touch the bony part of the ear canal because if we do, it'll be very, very uncomfortable for the patient because it's a very sensitive uh, region of the ear, the, the bony part of the ear canal, which is the inner two thirds. You can see I'm just hovering over. And the patient has got a bit of scar tissue at the base of the eardrum. You'll see that in a moment. So I'm just going back for this. I just want to, uh, within half a millimeter, just hover over. And we do manage to get this. There we are. So the patient could hear significantly better. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Take care. Keep well. Speak soon. Bye.